Marcia Smart. Welcome back to the oh, show. Thank you guys. I'm excited to be here on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day Happy to you. Happy Valentine's Day. I love this. This is such a great, this is what we're doing tonight. We are awesome. cooking at home. We are staying at home. And I like this because you're in control of the menu. Yes. In your own place. Yes. And this is all, it should be easy. You shouldn't stress out on Valentine's Day, but I think that is the perfect night to eat at home. Like amateur night at restaurants. That's right. when everyone goes out that never goes out to dinner. So stay home and have a delicious Amateur meal. night at the restaurants. Yeah. Ooh, I shouldn't. It's harsh. I shouldn't I say know. that because it's a great night to go out to. It is, but it's like New Year's Eve. You sort right. of has that same kind of feel to it, right? Yes. Okay, let's get started. This okay. is so cute. We're actually starting on the cooking side first. Yes. So this is a heart-shaped ribeye. It's boneless, and you can get it at Central Market, HEB, a Whole Foods. heart-shaped ribeye. Look yes. at that. It's a little upside um, down. So heart. it's just butterflied and opened up so it looks like a heart. So we can go to Central Market, Whole Foods, or whatever, and just say butter and butterfly this. They have them already like this in okay. the butcher case. And I called Central Market on the way here, and they said they have a ton. So you can get your heart-shaped ribeye. Okay. This pan is really hot and I have to apologize because I had you guys coughing oh, earlier okay. with all the spice mix going on but this is just a smoked paprika which is called Love. pimento de la vera it's what you use in paella okay and it's a great spice but it's really smoky pimento de la vera is yes. that available at any grocery store yes you oh, can look. especially like central market or whole foods will have that if you can't find it regular paprika or if you can find smoked for paprika is great and oh, these cool. are just red chili flakes and some kosher salt. So I'm gonna put on the spice mix. And um, you wanna kind of rub it in or you just wanna I put it on top? I usually rub it in okay. really well. You can use your tongs if you want to. Get it on both sides. You can put some more on there. Okay. And then we're gonna put it in our hot pan. You wanna really heat the pan. And this is a cast iron pan. You can do it on a regular skillet. We're but a gonna... cast iron, if you have one, is the, probably the best thing to yes. do. Yes, and hear that awesome sound. So yes. we are just gonna, we don't need to mess with it. We're just gonna let it sit there and cook and get an awesome sear okay. while we make some of these other things. Okay. And, and Marsha, by the way, sorry to jump no, no, in, no, but no. is the whole idea here with this heart yes. steak, is this like you share it together? You share it. Uh, got it. It's to share. Like this would probably feed my family of five, right. but definitely two people can share that. Two, okay. Two forks, one plate. Yes. Gotcha. Oh, get in there. Okay. okay. So sweet. I love a good chimichurri sauce. Never made it at home, but I'm, I'm. It, you say it's super easy. It's super easy, and you don't need a food processor to make it if okay. you don't have one. You can chop everything really fine, the herbs, and just mix it together. I love making it in this because, which is probably not the most authentic way to make it, but it's just so easy. fast. It saves so, so much easy. time. So it's just Italian parsley, and this recipe is on my uh, website, Smart in the Kitchen. This is oregano, some red wine vinegar, okay, red chili, more red chili flakes. All of that, huh? Yes. Okay. And this is garlic that's already been uh, like with grated your on a micro your micro planter. So it yeah. gets it into this awesome. If you guys can see, kind this. of like a paste, right? It's like a total paste. So it gets totally absorbed into see like yeah and dispersed into your sauce okay. we're gonna pour that in and we're, we're gonna get everyone nice and garlicky for valentine's day so if you right. don't have this you're <laughs> using a blender or using a hand emulsifier you're yes, doing something or right? just chopping the herbs by hand okay and mixing everything up so i'm gonna pulse it chop 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 and, and you can even in. get a, a very small food processor like that yes. for like 20 bucks. We you have the what? tiny one. Even a small one at the dollar store I got one once. Oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. Family dollar. So it was a little bit more than a dollar, but I mean, it's it's great for that. Okay, so that is ready to go. Beautiful. And here's your finished product here. Yes, this that's is it. what it looks like. And it is going to be delicious on the steak. Marsha, so, let's move along to the okay. salad and the dessert. That so, chimichurri looks beautiful. This I love because it's full of like pink and red, the radish, the radicchio, and to talk about the dollar store, this is my favorite cheap mandolin from the dollar store. And it makes just really, don't cut your finger off. Yeah, right. Careful that's problem. <laughs> great little thin slices of radish. And then I just sacrifice the very end because you don't want to sacrifice your fingers. The good news right. is the salad is delicious. The bad news is right. my Part fingers, of my fingers are in it. <laughs> and this is one of the most popular recipes on my site. It's super simple salad dressing, and um, I always have it in my refrigerator. I love making salad dressing in a mason jar 
Because yeah. you just you throw, it right isn't up. it like genius? You, and also you avoid all the sugars myself? and the yes. preservatives in, yeah. in typical salad dressing. Listen, yes. salad dressing has hidden calories. Oh, a ton. Oh my gosh, Ooh, and preservatives oh, and Marcia, gums. You. Like this is the best way to change your game in the kitchen. To make so radicchio lettuce dressing. and then the, the um, green onions. Radish, green onions, oh, beautiful. there's some herbs in there. Um, wow, that salad dressing. It's like packed with a flavor. game changer. You have That's to on your it. website? Oh, it's on my website. You can make it with any type of vinegar. And then I just want to show wow. you guys, this dessert is like a favorite. I'm going to flip our steak really okay. quickly. And now, if you want to do me a favor. you want me, me to flip favor, the steak? I'll do the sure. steak. Sure. Okay, flip the steak. Divide and conquer. There you go. <laughs> Look See, at that. She knows what she's doing. It is. You got it, sister. Even Courtney Zavala can flip a steak. <laughs> and you said a high heat, right, Marsha? High heat. You okay. want to get a good sear. So this dessert is called Eaten Mess. It's just a meringue cookie, some raspberries that have been soaked in Prosecco and sugar. And this is the same Prosecco I'm serving with dinner. That soaked we had at the top of the show. And sugar. If you're making Brilliant. this for kids, just ditch the Prosecco and do it without. Okay. And this is just a simple Chianti Classico that'll pair well with your steak. Mm. What a cute idea to do all these little layers there, Marsha. And this whipped cream, is this something you just got heavy whipping cream and it's, yep, whipped I just it up yourself? Whipped up whipping cream and vanilla. There's no added sugar in this because you have so much sugar in the meringue cookies. Oh, but if thank you, you dear. <laughs> here, if you get mm. down to the mm. bottom of the glass, the meringue cookie gets soaked with the raspberry and the juices, and it just gets kind of crunchy. I love it, and thank you so much for doing it. raspberries and not strawberries for the people out there that don't like strawberries. Aren't just saying, you could do it with any berry. But I, love I love the it raspberry. With Who doesn't like strawberries? Yeah, so Listen, <laughs> a reminder <laughs> that you can connect with Marsha on our website. Just click on the scene on Houston Life tab for all of these delicious recipes. Thank, thank you so much. Happy Valentine's Same Day. Same to you.